Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use tags and categories in your Squarespace blog. So tags and categories can be used in many other ways and different areas on your Squarespace website, but this video is going to focus exclusively on using tags and categories within Squarespace's blogging platform. So I have set up a demo website here using the Squarespace Harris template, and that's what we're going to be working off of for this video. Uh, the Harris template is a really great business template, um, and it's basically set up to be a default of a fake law firm. So that's what we're going to go with in our example here today. So with the tags and categories in blogging, it's actually very easy to set up, and I'm going to show you how to do this. To start, you're going to be logged in here, and from the main homepage platform, you're going to go to Pages, and then to Blog. And you can either set them up for a brand new blog post, which you would click this plus button here and then start a new post. Or I'm going to show you how to add them to an existing blog post. So I've created a demo blog post here called What to Include in a Will. So let's work off of that one. Go to Edit. And you can see here in the bottom left hand corner, this is where we have the section for tags and categories. So to add different tags and categories, you just click the plus button. So to add a tag using the example of what to include in a will, let's add a few things like um, a will could be one or assets could be another executor you know someone's going to be the executor of a will or finally let's talk about beneficiaries yeah that's how you spell it good because someone has to benefit from a will in case of it ever getting used so those are some different tags we might use and let's say oops I didn't want to add will I wanted to call it wills I can just do the little x button there you see that little one click that and it'll remove it and then I can add a new one here to make it wills let's say now going to the category section, in this one you're going to make it a bit more broad because you know wills is pretty that's pretty specific, right? Like that's the the very direct bit of content whereas a category is the overarching thing. So in the case of our example here, uh, the category we might use could be estate planning. And there it is. So you either, you know, you can go through and exit that, add a new one, uh, create a new category, all of those things. And then when you're finished, you just click save and now you're good to go. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and that it answered any questions you might have had about how to use tags and categories in Squarespace blogs. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go to my website www.charlotteohara.ca for lots more content and videos. Thanks, bye!